Hello and welcome back to another Demis Helen tutorial. We are talking Valhalla Room. I'm going to keep this video short and sweet. This is just to add to the playlist of reverbs that we have been looking at over the past year. And Valhalla Room is one that I haven't acquired until uh, a couple of like weeks ago. So I thought, let's, let's go and do a video on this and what better time. So uh, Valhalla Room has quite a few features here in terms of early and late reflections. So you can really get bogged down in making the perfect reverb if you so wish to do so. Or you can use the built-in presets. And you can also use the built-in reverb modes to change your sound. Okay, so this is how it comes default. I've changed a few settings here, but um, this is pretty much how it comes. Large room, no default press, uh, preset there. And uh, I've just been messing around with these early reflections. So let's have a look at Valhalla Room in its glory. So first of all, we have two nicely coloured GUIs. I'm using the electric blue just because it's closer to the Demis Helen logo. Uh, thumbs up if you think the same. And Valhalla has a section here on the left which is all your basic familiar things. Mix, pre-delay, decay time, the high cut and then depth. Now depth is the balance between these two, the late and early reflections. The more you have it this way, essentially that is just really picking up late reflections. All the way down here is just picking up early reflection settings. So if you have it as a balance between the both, you'll hear equal amounts from both. And that is about it, apart from it has a resizable GUI, which is quite nice. And Valhalla Room does sound really nice. It's something that I've always wanted to acquire, and it sounds beautiful on plucks and pads and things like that. So let's have a listen to the pluck that we've got, and we'll just mess around with some of the features, and then we'll have a walk through. And just to let you know that that delay is not coming from Valhalla Room. Just to clear that one up. Okay, so there we have it. That is just messing around with some of the settings. We picked a different reverb mode there. And you can see from the tooltips at the bottom that this was uh, dark room is more of a kind of modula modulation of randomness and darker tones in there. So there's all different reverbs for all different scenarios in there. But we're going to stick to large room for this walkthrough. Okay, so we've gone through all the presets. Now let's have a look starting at depth. Everything else is pretty self-explanatory. That's just like an EQ. That's the time it takes for the reverb to stop. That is the pre-delay when the sound hits as to when the reverb starts. And that is your mix. The depth here has a balance between early and late reflections. So if we turn this down just to the earlies, we'll turn this room size down as well and the pre-delay off. If I turn up the modulation depth, you'll hear that the reverb starts to modulate. So you kind of get that pitch bending effect where everything seems to be just warping weird. And that's determined by the mod rate here. That's really fast. Just like you'd expect an LFO to do, the mod rate increases the speed. And we have all these other sections, but if then we go to the lates here, and change this up to late only. We lose that modulation effect that that uh, early reflections was applying, and it's now applying the modulation effects and settings that we've got here. So we can obviously change these and let's increase this mod rate. Now you can hear that modulation is happening. Again, it's the easiest way to hear what the late and early reflections are doing. Um, late size. Here, that's a very small room, more bathroom sounding. That's more open and wide, even though it's very short still. But if we turn this up, now 
Now it's modulating the sound because uh, it's a small room combining with a large room at four seconds in length. This is now letting that modulation depth be heard based on the settings here. So let's just make that a bit more bearable. So it helps to add a little bit of extra harmonic and tonal quality to your sound. And it's nice just to be able to go through and manipulate those. Okay, so um, we've got crossover features here as well. So it's the late crossovers. And you can see down there it says controls the stereo spread of the late reverb. So you can basically have it sort of mono here and a little bit more wide on this side. So with all that covered up there, these are the bottom settings of the Late Reflections Bass Multi, High Multi, and then we have the crossover for the bass and the highs. So essentially, as you can see from the tooltip at the bottom, this is the reverb decay time for the bass frequencies, and that's obviously for the highs, and these are your crossover frequencies, so uh, the reflection time crossover between the bass and the mids, whereas this one is between the mids and the highs, respectively. So we can control all the lower portions. I tend not to use this too much, um, especially if you've uh, got some presets that just work and they sound nice, and you can tweak them later if needed. Uh, but let's just have a listen what happens. So you can hear there that the lower portion of the reverb now is quite short and a very small boxy room. And now that tail is lasting a lot longer. As you can hear now that bass is now back to short, regardless of this being four seconds. And then of the high multis here. You can hear those top frequencies do cut through a little bit more, but it is being governed by this here. So let's just turn this up a bit. So you can hear those highs are holding off a little bit longer. And there's all little tweaks that you can do there. So it's not a necessity, but if you were wanting to control that lower portion of your reverb, especially if it's being used in the lower mids, uh, it will help save getting muddiness and things like that in the lower end where frequencies are a lot slower and you just don't want stuff like that. So they are handy for cutting bass frequencies down or just reducing their kind of decay time in conjunction with the overall decay time. And then in the early sections, you can see here we have the same controls that we briefly covered. Uh, it does exactly the same mod rate, mod depth, gives a little bit of attitude into your sound. We now have early send and diffusion here. So early send is how much of this signal from the early section is gonna influence the late section settings. So if we hover over there, you can see controls the amount of early reverb sent to the input of the late reverb. And then the diffusion is just how dense the sound is. So with that turned down a little bit, it's gonna be less dense uh, in terms of, it's gonna be more sparse. And if we hover over there again, controls initial echo of density. Um, the more dense it is, the more intense the sound is gonna be, and the more sparse it is gonna be that way. So let's just have a quick listen to this. Uh, let's go straight to the earlies. So you can hear now it's more sparse and you can hear individual like echoes. The more density is, the more it starts to mimic a reverb. So you can hear exactly how that is working there. And don't forget this is then influencing, especially with the early send, influencing into this late section here so then you can manipulate it even further so they kind of feed each other, uh, which is really, really handy when you're doing a bit of preset design. Uh, but for general stuff, just have a little bit of a mess around and you might get some creative choices out of there. All right, so we're gonna look at some presets, just quickly go over some of the reverb modes and just listen to how they sound. As you can see there at the bottom, we've got large rooms like wide spatial impressions, uh, fairly high initial echo densities and detuning modulation. Whereas we compare that to, let's say, dark space, you can see downsampled, down sparser initial echo density, detuning modulation and dark tones. 
uh, bright room, obviously the opposite of that, deep modulation, slower attacks, bright tonality. They all have different features that are already preset for you. So let's have a listen to Dark Room on this plug. Obviously now that is part of the Dark Room section, we're having the high cut, cutting some of them high frequencies out. Then if we listen to Bright Room, there's a lot of bright in there and the lower frequency, the lower portion is not present as much. Go back to Dark Space again. There's a lot more bass presence there. So let's have a listen to this one. And by the way, this is in conjunction with the large tile preset here. We're just changing the reverb mode. So you can hear they all have their advantages. See, that one is perfect for, and it says right there, lush random modulation, perfect for pads. Stuff like that, pads would sound amazing with that uh, reverb mode. So let's have a listen to just large room. Uh, let's pick some random things here. Let's pick big spaces. Let's pick Taj, Taj Mahal. You can see 27 seconds uh, decay time there. Let's pick holes, let's pick long mod hole. Medium ambience. And we'll pick one more. Uh, let's pick one out of the den section and we'll pick warm hole. Let's just turn that mix down. Obviously, as a pluck, it's more obvious with the pre delay, so I'm just going to turn this down again. All right, so that is Valhalla Room. I hope you got a bit of an overview on how it just operates. Uh, we're not going into depth on how everything interacts with each other and going right into the nitty gritty it's just enough to get you started these are times where we just want to learn things whilst we're here and sometimes you just don't want to go into too much depth so Valhalla Room is a perfect addition to the Reverb family it has definitely got a firm place in there as well as Valhalla Echo that is another uh, cracking plugin as well so if you enjoyed the video let me know down in the comments hit the like button so it gets shared around like crazy and finally hit subscribe if you haven't already three videos per week thank you very much for watching and i will see you in the next video